the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 530 starts right now. Good evening. It's Friday, June 26, 2015. I'm Paula Degnan in for Ann Gownley. Crews for Hazel Township and Freeland Fire were called to a house fire in the Ebervale section of the township around 4.30 this afternoon. According to fire officials, a stove was on fire inside the home. The residents called 911 and got out okay. Crews had the fire out within a few minutes of arriving on location. Crews from Hazel Township, Foster Township and Freeland responded along with APTS ambulance. No injuries were reported at the scene of that that fire this afternoon in Hazel Township. Four people were taken into custody after a fight where gunshots were fired. It happened in the area of Hazel and East Chestnut Streets around 2 o'clock this afternoon. There were reports that a person was shot, but police did not find anyone. Police Chief Frank DeAndrea did talk following the incident. There were individuals that were observed running in multiple directions from the house. Officers requested that the individuals um, stop, halt. The, the people that we could see flooding out of the house were uh, placed in handcuffs until we could figure out are they part of the shooting, are they, are they not part of the shooting. And while one of the individuals was being ordered to lay down on the ground in front of the house, as he did so, his backpack was open at the top, and as everything came spewing out, um, part of what came spewing out of the backpack was a large amount of marijuana um, and all of the packaging materials, clearly showing that the individual was carrying a large amount of drugs. According to the chief, a resident in the area did see what happened and called 911. One eyewitness explains that as she was returning home to the area of 436, she saw two dark-skinned males hiding behind a gold van on Chestnut Street. As the woman is driving towards her house, the dark-skinned males jump out from behind the van and start firing their weapons as they run up along the side of 436 East Chestnut Street, apparently at people who live there who are out on the side porch. That's when the, the melee and all of the disturbance started where people are fleeing out all of the doors of 436. We have no specific information on who the two dark-skinned males were, no further description. The chief also said that this has been the second incident involving shots fired in the last two days. He's asking anyone with information on this incident to call 911. No arrests have yet been made. 30 to 60 years in state prison for 21-year-old Ethan Sullivan of St. Clair. He pleaded guilty to killing 22-year-old Jason Hahn of Andreas. Judges James Goodman immediately imposed the sentence. Hahn's body was found last June in the woods off Silver Creek Road near New Philadelphia. State police charged Sullivan in the death, also accusing him of stealing $54 in cash, a cell phone, and a pair of sneakers. In court, while Sullivan admitted to killing Han, he has still not said why. The Hazelton Area School District approved the general fund budget at last night's meeting. Our Julie Stefanovich has what that means for taxpayers. Before the start of last night's Hazelton Area School District meeting, Dr. Craig Butler had some kind words for a teacher that lost his life in a construction accident on Wednesday. A moment of silence was held for engineering instructor Robert Stetz, who taught at the Academy of Sciences. The board then proceeded to the agenda items, which included a vote on the general fund budget. Though members of the board did not want to see any taxes being raised, the majority of the votes went to option two. We've said in the past, we're in the three counties, so we have to equalize our tax rates across the three counties. And we use the word equalize, but sometimes, as we know, it's not equal. It's not, you know, however the formula shakes it out. Um, option two means that uh, Luzerne County will stay at the same tax rates as they were this past year. Carbon County actually gets a very slight cut in the tax rates, and Schuylkill County goes up slightly in the tax rates. We asked business manager Tony Reba about the district's future financial situation. 
basically where we're at right now with option two, we are using some of our fund balance. Um, at the low end, about $3.6 million of our fund balance. Um, depending on how much state money we get, the state budget isn't passed yet, and we did put in the amount for um, that we received that potentially could have been given to us back in March. Um, if we do not get that money, it's about $2.3 million. So, and again, getting back to how much fund balance we're going to use, on the low end is about 3.6, on the high end is about $6 million of our fund balance. Fund balance right now is somewhere around 12 million. So potentially we could use half of that in next year's fiscal year. The next regular school board meeting is scheduled for Thursday, July 23rd. In Hazel Township for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. The United States Supreme Court ruled today that gay couples have the right to marry in all 50 states. The court has been litigating the issue of same-sex marriage over the past 20 years. 36 states, including the District of Columbia, already allowed gay marriage. With the Supreme Court's 5-4 to four ruling, the remaining states across the country cannot ban same-sex marriage. President Barack Obama calling the decision a big step in our march toward equality. Meanwhile, Governor Tom Wolf also released a statement today saying, quote, Today the Supreme Court affirmed that no American can be denied the right to marry because of who they love. The historic ruling is a victory for LGBT Pennsylvania and allies. Gay marriage is now simply marriage, and the pursuit of happiness will no longer be denied for same-sex couples, unquote. Schuylkill County District Attorney Christine Holman is looking to make one of her assistant district attorneys full-time. At the Schuylkill County Commissioners meeting this week, Holman asked the board to eliminate a second part-time position and make a current part-time DA full-time. According to the DA, ADA William Burke is leaving the office as a part-time attorney and she wants to make another part-time ADA full-time. Schuylkill County Commissioner George Halkovich said the board needs more information for Holman and their financial team before they can make a decision. Holman said she needs the position filled and it's no additional money. Holman's office currently has five full-time and four part-time prosecutors. The East Central PA Regional Task Force, in conjunction with Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton, distributed burn carts to 16 hospitals across the region today. The task force, which is one of nine regional homeland security task forces in the state, funded the project. The distribution today was done as part of one of the drills for uh, the task force, uh, regional task force. Um, it, the, it was, the drill was for di distribution of medical equipment uh, in, in, in time of emergency. So we collaborate, we get all the necessary uh, hospitals involved. Parts are stored in the hospital's emergency rooms and include all the necessities for short-term burn treatment. According to Dr. Jerry Coleman, it's an important tool to have on hand, especially with all of the industrial facilities in our area. It's very necessary, actually, in the entire East Coast well, there's only about three or four burn centers, and our burn center down in Allentown is one that covers three states. So in order to be able to efficiently treat patients that are of uh, critical burns, the uh, Leah Valley Hospital Burn Center actually um, partnership with the regional task force and gave the necessary uh, equipment to various hospitals. Representatives from 16 hospitals in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Berks, Wyoming, Columbia, Montour, and Northumberland counties stopped by Lehigh Valley Hazleton to pick up their carts. Time now for a first look at our forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacic in the Weather Center. Joe, any change in that soggy weekend forecast you talked about yesterday? Unfortunately not. It looks like it's going to be a washout at least for tomorrow and as a result we do have those flood watches in effect. For parts of our viewing area they go in effect tomorrow morning at 2 o'clock. They don't end until 2 o'clock Sunday morning and my guess is even across the northeast weather service probably will be issuing flood watches for the remaining counties 
in our viewing area. Here's the rain out through here. A lot of it to talk about. In fact, the yellows, oranges indicating the heavier rain that is falling. It's going to make its way toward the east alone. A shower, even maybe a little bit of some thunder down toward the southeast. But other than that, uh, nothing to show you. Temperatures generally in the 70s to near 80 degrees. And those winds are going to, going to start to pick up. But right now, it's kind of quiet. Winds are relatively calm. But notice tomorrow. 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, maybe some gusts up to 30 miles per hour in addition to a lot of that rain. We'll talk more about what we can expect this weekend, including the rain, coming up a little bit later on. Paula? Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, our Gary Perna has some grilling safety tips for summer, just in time for the upcoming 4th of July. WYLN News is back after this. You're watching WYLN News, Greater Hazleton's only local news broadcast with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Kristen Bozinski, Weather with Joe Garbacic, and Sports with Eric DeBerardinas and Gabriella Justin. Penn State is right here in the Hazleton area. We're top ranked by corporate recruiters. We have four-year degrees, so you can finish here or at another Penn State campus. There's new scholarship money available. And there's no application fee when you visit here. Penn State Hazleton. Download your application fee waiver at psu.edu slash visit Hazleton. Walk into the region's most trusted health network. Just in time for summer, Cloud9 personal training and fitness in drums is expanding. Big time. More space. More equipment. Many personal trainers and fitness coaches. Plus, boot camp, youth strength and conditioning, yoga. And coming soon, CrossFit. Call now to learn more. 570-690-0859. Get off the couch and on cloud nine. Hard to believe, but the 4th of July is quickly approaching, and WILN wants to make sure that you have a safe and happy summer and holiday. That's why we've teamed up with some experts to give you all the tips to be safe. WILN's Gary Perna kicks off this week's installment. Millions of Americans are lighting up their grill since the nice summer weather is finally here. We are grilling hot dogs, hamburgers, and so much more. But before we fire up that grill, let's make sure everything is prepared so we don't have any type of emergencies. We talk with two experts about what you should do to prepare for summer grilling. Actually, it's a, you know people look forward to it. Uh, it's one of the things that we enjoy this in the summer months hot weather one of the couple things you want to be aware of when you're grilling is obviously first and foremost is make sure that your grill is operating properly before you when you pull that out either of your garage from storage uh, for the first use or whatnot you know make sure that all the the grill is uh, the burners are all operating properly. Sometimes burners go bad. You can go to a local hardware store and buy the replacements. Make sure that's all functioning so you don't have a buildup of any uh, corrosion or crud and uh, the gas can flow through and you know get a good light on that. Um, when it comes to the uh, the grilling surfaces themselves, make sure they're properly cleaned. Um, you know, sometimes you may not have gotten a chance to clean it at the end of the season, and uh, it's got a lot of buildup and grime. You want to make sure it's clean because you don't want to be ingesting any of that and cause any kind of diseases or anything from that nature. And if you're using a propane grill, um, if you're using a propane grill, um, you know you must be using the proper fuel, and that that grill cannot be located on your porch. Uh, or on a small deck. The grilling surface has to be at least 20 feet from, from any structure. Again, this is all for fire safety, not to put a damper on anybody's summer, mm -hmm. but to make everybody's summer safe. So that's very important. Also, be careful with charcoal. Make sure that stuff is all operable. Um, if you're using a charcoal grill, uh, with a lot of people like to use charcoal, uh, be careful with lighter fluid. All right, you don't want to be, once the flame is lit, you don't want to be squirting it with lighter fluid. Uh, it could cause the flame to shoot too high, it could 
trail back to this source of where it's coming from, you can get burned pretty bad. So you want to be careful when you're using a lot of lighter fluids like that. Um, and also when you're lighting your gas grills, keep the lid open. Uh, don't keep the lid closed. Uh, that build up a gas in there. If you don't get it lit right away or, or your ignition switch doesn't necessarily, uh, necessarily uh, light it, uh, it could cause an explosion. So you want to be careful of that. And make sure your propane tanks are, are in good working order as well too. Um, if they're not, uh, you know, replace them. It's better to buy a brand new tank, make sure it works properly, than to have one that's leaking and possibly explode while you're grilling. West Hazelton Deputy Fire Chief Brian Kerr has said in West Hazelton they do have an open burning ordinance, so campfires are not permitted. You know, the first thing is, is um, open burning. Open burning is prohibited in a lot of municipalities. Um, there's ordinance that covers them in almost every municipality. In West Hazelton Borough, uh, if you're going to uh, open burn, it has to be an approved uh, container. You can't just build a fire pit or dig a hole in your yard and put a fire in it. Um, it has to be an, an approved uh, fire pit or approved container. Um, if you have any questions as to what is approved or not, you're welcome to go ahead and call the fire department and uh, they'll let you know exactly what the ordinance reads. Also, there has to be a screen on top of the fire. The fire just can't burn freely. There has to be a screen on top of it or a griddle on top of it to prevent any embers from uh, flying forth from the fire itself. Carrie said though open fires in proper bins or containers is allowed only for food preparation. Part of the borough ordinance requires that uh, the fire is only for the preparation of food. Yeah, it's nice to sit around the fire and so on and so forth, but um, you know, for the safety of all the residents of the borough, uh, it, it's only for the preparation of food. So you, you can have a fire in an approved pit, uh, an approved container with a screener grate on top of it for the preparation of food. Also one of the things you want to uh, be cautious of is when you do have that, that fire for the preparation of food, uh, when you're done with it, you want to make sure it's fully extinguished, especially before you go to bed for the night. Um, embers left, uh, you know, a good window come by and uh, blow them up, and then uh, it's pretty bad to light your neighbor's roof on fire from something like that. Both Kara and Gans said just be careful and have fun this summer season. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Gary Perna. Thanks, Gary. Stay with us. Chief Meteorologist Joe Gabarchik returns with the weekend weather details. Stay tuned. All Care Home Care, the health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice for your care. Call us and we'll be there. Are you tired of your old car? Independence Toyota Scion in the airport Bellway in Hazleton has an incredible spring savings deal for you. It's Chris Stash's Cash for Clunkers time. $3,000 minimum pre-owned trade-in allowance. Chris doesn't care if you push that old clunker in, pull that tired old clunker in, get it there any way you can and trade it for a car that you'll love to drive. Over 80 pre-owned vehicles are available, all inspected, detailed, and ready to go. Independence Toyota Scion in Hazleton for exceptional service, the best selection of vehicles, and a minimum trade-in allowance of $3,000 for your clunker. Stop in and see Chris and his friendly team today. WYLN Weather is sponsored by Coordinated Health. Coordinated Health, we make you better together. I grew up in Pittston. I know what it takes to live in a small town. I know a lot of these people and they know me. And that's why I believe everyone should have access to high quality affordable health care. And why I'm pleased to tell you about a new choice, Coordinated Health. I want the very best for my family, friends, and neighbors, and I know Coordinated Health will bring a new level of patient care to the Wyoming Valley. Well, to end our Friday, it is pretty nice. We do have sunshine mixed with uh, some clouds. But those clouds very quickly are going to be on the increase as we head through tonight. And we have some heavy rain to talk about in our forecast for tomorrow. So let's get right to the map for the day. And again, today was uh, not a bad day. Now, there was just a tad bit of rain on radar, which I showed you. 
on the weather tees, but the rest of us really have not seen anything. But that's going to be a different story heading into tomorrow. Again, we have those flood watches in effect for parts of our viewing area. Still nothing across extreme northeastern PA, but there's a good chance they'll start to fill in with flood watches as well. And so we can be looking at one to maybe even over two inches of rain before all is said and done. 84 degrees, our live Lehigh tire conditions outside our television station in Hazleton. Uh, winds, not too much of a factor, but the winds are going to kick up as we head into tomorrow. 74 now in Mount Pocono, 82 in Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, 82 in Williamsport, 75 degrees in State College. Satellite and radar, heavy rain coming out from the Ohio Valley region, out through here. And that's going to start to make its way into our area before all is said and done, heading into tomorrow. And it's going to come down heavy at times. We're going to have to deal with that windswept rain, 10 to 20 mile per hour winds, maybe some wind gusts here in the higher elevations up to 30 miles per hour. And this is going to stick around heading even into tomorrow night and then tapering to some showers as we go into our Sunday. And because of the rain and the overcast skies, it's really going to keep temperatures on the cool side. I don't think any locations will be out of the 60s as we head into uh, tomorrow. It's going to be a definitely a cool day, and how much precipitation, you might ask. This is one of the uh, model runs, which kind of combines a bunch of the weather models we use and take an average. And there you can see, uh, these numbers might be slightly higher, but nevertheless, a good amount of rain will be heading in our direction. Probably a good one and a half, two inches on average, maybe some places beyond that. So be prepared for a wet day. It's going to be a washout. And the timing of it, again, by about the 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, early morning hours, is when we'll start to see that rain come into our area. Here's a look at the extended forecast. We got some leftover rain and some showers for our Sunday. And again, both days are going to be cool. 63 for the high tomorrow. Now, there's that possibility. We may not get out of the 50s. 70s as we go into our Monday and then a couple of scattered showers or thunderstorm around for Tuesday and Wednesday, not looking bad for Thursday. Our daytime Pennsylvania lottery numbers, the pick 291, the pick 3499, and the pick 45027. We'll continue to have more for you coming up after these commercial messages. We're looking for a dealer that will take the time to get to know our needs. And hook me up with something that has some all-wheel drive and some power. Bam! And what will you be using the car for primarily? Cycling, snowboarding, kayaking, you know. Gardening, antiquing, and commuting to work. I've got just the car. Lease a 2015 Forster 2.5i CVT for only $222 per month from Fairway Subaru in Hazel Township. The right car. The right price. The right dealer. Fairway Subaru. A winning smile. It's not the secret to success, but it sure helps. Protect your smile by visiting Dr. Weiss for complete dental services. Dr. Weiss offers a full-service denture laboratory on premises, offering dentures in one day. Three dentists, four hygienists, and a team of caring technicians and assistants specializing in quality dentures and repairs, complete general dentistry, extractions, cleaning, and caps. Dr. Weiss, where you can have new dentures in one day. The annual Eckley Patchtown Days will be taking place this weekend, and our Gary Perna has a preview. This weekend, you could take a step back in time as Eckley Miners Village presents Patchtown Days. The weekend-long event will take you back to when coal was king in northeastern and central Pennsylvania. Kristen Bogash is one of the organizers of the event and spoke with us. Um, we, what we're doing is commemorating the life and times of anthracite coal mining families who have lived throughout northeastern Pennsylvania. Um, we will have people in period attire, entertainment throughout the weekend, um, special performances as well. Um, on Saturday we'll feature a dance performance by the Casca Ukrainian Folk Ensemble and on Sunday we'll feature the Emerald Isle Step Dancers. Bogash said this is a good way to see how our ancestors lived need to step back in time. Um, you, the way that you know who you are now is by where you've been. And um, if you can reach back into your anthracite coal mining roots during an event such as this, then you know exactly who you are. Um, we celebrate the different ethnicities. Um, a lot of people nowadays don't know what their ethnic background was like. They don't know the um, hard times that people in anthracite coal mining families had um, just to make their new life in America. 
The event is put on by the volunteers. Um, all of our volunteers um, will be at this event. Um, those that are in costume will be our volunteers, but we also have a group known as the Eckley Players, and they will be performing an eviction um, for the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Now there is a small admission fee to enter the event. Yes, there is an admission fee for this event. It's $10 for adults, $9 for seniors, $6 for children. Um, any child under five years old is free. Um, we invite the public to come out, um, enjoy the different music from the different ethnicities um, that made up the coal mining region of Pennsylvania. Also, this week in Eckley, will open the company store. Um, Friday night, we will have a dedication ceremony for our volunteers at the company store. But Saturday morning, we're opening the company store exhibit to the public. Um, for one and a half years, we haven't had any exhibit in our company store. But now, because of a generous $10,000 donation from an anonymous donor, we were able to furnish the company store with time period appropriate artifacts. Bogash is hoping that everyone will come out and take a step back in time. Um, I hope that everyone will come out and join us. This is a great event that's celebrating our anthracite coal mining history and I hope that everyone will come out and just enjoy the weekend, enjoy some food, enjoy music, and just tour the village so that they can know more about this region. In Eckley for WYLN News, I'm Gary Perna. And organizers at Eckley Village want you to know that the events will go on rain or shine. Coming up next, Eric DeBerardinas is in with sports right here on WYLN. Stay tuned. Family owned and operated, the experienced professionals at Lehigh Tire have served the residents of the greater Hazleton area for over 55 years. From our full line of passenger, light truck and commercial tires to our automotive services including tune-ups, inspections, oil changes and alignments. Every time I've ever done business here, they've, they've been very polite straightforward and the job gets done quickly and right find the right tire for the right price today at lehigh tire family owned and operated the experienced professionals at lehigh tire have served the residents of the greater hazelton area for over 55 years from our full line of passenger light truck and commercial tires to our automotive services including tune-ups inspections oil changes and alignments every time i've ever done business here they've they've been very polite straightforward and the job gets done quickly and right find the right tire for the right price today at lehigh tire they have a new pound the berwick area school board voted last night to study whether it was worth moving to the heartland conference for its sports teams Right now, Berwick is in the Wyoming Valley Conference. The Heartland Conference is centered in North Central Pennsylvania. It has 27 member schools, including Bloomsburg, Danville, Millville, Southern Columbia, Williamsport, Lewisburg, Shemokin, and others. Superintendent Wayne Brookhart said it has looked at joining Heartland before and last year considered a move to the Anthracite League. The board voted 5-4 to four to study the move. If the move is made, it would be effective for the 2016 season. Ryan Sandberg, Hall of Fame player, not a Hall of Fame manager. Today, he decided to resign from his post with the Philadelphia Phillies, leaving the worst team in baseball. During his time at the helm of the Phils, Sandberg managed the team to a 119 and 159 record. Pete McCannon named the interim manager. Stay tuned. Coming up, Joe Garbacic is in with a final look at the forecast. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? Well, the graphic says it all. It looks dreary. If it looks like that way to you, it's going to be dreary and it's going to be rainy and wet and, you know, with those overcast skies and the rain, it's going to keep temperatures only in the 60s. The winds will also kick up for tomorrow and some leftover showers for Sunday before we dry things out for Monday. Keep the umbrella handy, but have a good weekend. Oh, absolutely. And you do too. 
Have a great weekend.